Okay, so what I'm going to be going through today with you as quickly as possible is how to step-by-step -step set up an ad on Instagram. And we're going to be using the Power Editor. And you can do two different forms of ads on Instagram. So you can do an image like you see right here or or you can do a image, I mean, or a video ad like you see here. And also, there's actually a third way. You can do an app install, uh, and, which you would advertise either through a video or an image. And so I just want to go through with you now. I want to show you a few more examples here really quickly. And you're doing website link clicks. So basically, people that are clicking these ads right here will be going directly to your website. So they see here your image and then they might have a blurb. What I'm gonna be doing is probably not doing any words on my images because it makes it seem too ad-like and you wanna really blend in seamlessly with the rest of the time. And they're gonna know that it's a ad, of course, because they're gonna say sponsored. But you don't want to upset the audience. And when it seems that when you're a little bit too pushy, especially this is a newer advertising thing, people are not so receptive. So if you can create cool content that people love to watch, you know, they're going to, you know, love to watch or just view, they're going to appreciate it a bit more. So that's something that I wouldn't be doing. But let me show you another example here real quick. So as you can see here, here's another ad um, that we're running, and you can see the difference. And we're actually playing $1.16 here. I think the other one was $0.81 cents to you know, the same audience. So it, it really does depend on what your image and everything is. So I'm going to walk you through now, step by step. So you come up here, and we're in Power Editor. So what you're going to do is create a campaign. And so I'm just going to name this uh, test for YouTube slash Facebook video. And you're going to go to clicks to website. So this is where it's going to be. Clicks to website. And I might have a few more tabs and options because I advertise quite a lot. So I probably have some things that you might not see in your back office, which is okay. It might become available to you over time. But um, let's stay on topic here. And then so you can do mobile installs. This is when you have a mobile application. You can place ads for it. But I'm not going to do that because I don't have an application. I'm going to show you where I actually play. And that's clicks to a website. So you select right there. Select your ad set. Let's just name this. Um, Jabril's. Testy for PPC Traffic Mastery, All right? And now, then you're going to select your ad, more tests, and then we're going to click Create. Now, so you have your campaign, which is great. Now you're going to come down here to Ad Sets. You're going to select the budget that you want. I'm going to leave it at $5 just for illustration purposes. We don't need anything. I'm not going to change the audience or anything like that, get super targeted, because I'm sure most of you are aware of how to do it. And if you're not, you, know, you can feel free to come uh, attend you know, one of our classes at PPC Mastery where we go over Facebook advertising in detail. So when you're doing these Instagram ads, they're not actually going to be on the Instagram platform. You run everything through Facebook Power Editor. It might change at times, but this is how it's happening right now. So what you do is uh, I'm going to uncheck all of these, and now you'll see the, uh, the potential reach. It's going to shrink, right, because it's just for the Instagram, the 400 million users. So for the United States, I have 35 potential uh, million reach. And the way that Facebook lines this up basically to my best guess, is so the accounts and email addresses that you have, or if you have your Instagram account attached to your Facebook, that's how it knows to line up who to target you. 
And so, but let's go to how you target people. One of the things that I hope that does come soon is hashtag. Like, because on, t- on platforms like Twitter PPC, you're able to target people based on like the hashtags that they use or the users that they follow. That would be an amazing way to do things. But for now, we don't have that option. So you target the exact same way that you would target on Facebook. So I'm just going to come plug in, let's say, so let's say I'm trying to travel, uh, attract some more travelers. So maybe I'm going to select Let's just say Airbnb. I love Airbnb. And most people who do Airbnbs are somewhat, you know, travelers. And now, I'm, like I said, I'm not going to go into the targeting because I just want to show you how to set up something. So we have Airbnb. We're going to save that. 1.2 million people for the United States. Because obviously I do, like I said, get a lot more nitty pity and, you know, target custom audiences and, you know, retargeting. But like I said... I just want to keep it very simple for you today. So there you have it. And now you come down here to ads and you select, you do have to select your Facebook page, right? And then you select your Instagram account. And you're going to pick the website where you want to send them. So what I'm going to do here is I want to be extra cool. And since, you know, Facebook, I mean, Instagram is such a cool platform, I just want to connect with my audience that wants to know about Thailand, right? So I I did a feature for Ebony Magazine. So what I'm going to do is come back to Power Editor, and they're asking for the URL. So I'm going to plug this in right here for travelers. And I'm going to say... Learn what it's like. Uh, I'm going to pause. And so since I've put learn what it is like for a black traveler in Thailand, what I'm going to do is, so obviously not all of uh, Lonely Planet are black. So what I'm going to come do is I'm going to change my audience. And so people who are maybe not even into traveling yet, but because it has the Ebony Magazine connection. So here we go. I'll plug this in here. And, but I know pretty much all the readers of Ebony Magazine are black. And, you know, everyone's pretty much into traveling. So I'm going to come change that audience. So when they come to this video, they'll be like, ah, oh, awesome. Or I might even send them, it might be better and more credible if I do Ebony Magazine. Bro. So I'll actually come here to their website, but I'd be showing them a lot more love, you know, by bringing traffic to their website. But like I said, this is just for illustration purposes, for, so you can see how to do this. So here we go. Boom. There we have it. And down here, you select the image or the video that you want. Since I have a video uploaded already, I'll just show you how that goes. And one thing that you can't do is you can't do letterboxes. The videos will be declined if you do a letterbox. So you select the video that you want. You can have up to 30 seconds. And then you get to select, you know, the thumbnail that you want. So you want to pick something that's pretty good. But videos autoplay on Instagram, which is cool. So there you go. Or you can select a custom image. But what I'm going to do here is a image... So here we go. Now we have my image uploaded. We have the text and you get to preview what it's going to look like. And now what you're going to do is whatever your call to action is, right? So if you're sending them to your website, like I've been doing for our Facebook, you know, classes that we do, or if I'm doing it for my travel stuff, basically whatever applies to you. So if you have, you know, a doctor's office or you have a yoga studio and you want to have people book sessions or you have a university and you're having people apply, whatever that it is, or if you have a charity, 
you just come and you just come plug your call to action in here. And remember, Instagram is a very creative place. They like to see beautiful pictures, beautiful videos. So please take some time when you're creating this content because your content will ultimately decide how much you're truly going to be paying as well as your targeting, how much you're going to be paying for your click and if it's going to be a profitable venture for you. And the more that we go into Instagram, you know, we're going to be spending thousands of dollars um, a month, you know, even a week on Instagram playing with different things. So if you want to learn more, um, you can you can check out our website PPC Mastery, uh, PPCTrafficMastery.com, and just opt into our list, and we'd be more than happy to share with you what is working over time. And then all this other stuff for tracking is pretty self-explanatory. But all you're going to do now is click upload, and then your ad will be in the Ethernet, <laughs> the Etho space. I don't even know what I just said. It didn't make any sense. <laughs> but let me show you here real quick how to read the numbers and show you what is going on once your ads are live. So as you can see here with uh, two different campaigns, this was the, with the image and then this one was with the helicopter. I'm paying 13 cents uh, a click to send them to a website. But let me show you here the numbers so you can see what is going on here. So you can see 200 website clicks, uh, 8,000 reach and 13 cents per website click. And you can see the engagement, right? So I got post likes, 261, and four comments. You know, nothing crazy, but it's pretty good. And now performance and clicks. So you can see here what is going on. So I'm paying about 366 for CPM. Uh, that's cost per thousand impressions if you're not familiar. And that's pretty much what you need to know right now to get started. Oh, and then another thing. So on your Instagram page, here is where you'll see your regular pictures if you go to your Instagram, right? But what doesn't show up are your ads. Your ads are basically ghost. They are unpublished. So they don't show up when people go and actually look at your page, but they only show up in the timelines. So I hope that helps any questions that you have. Feel free to you know, leave them you know, below, and I'd love to help you. And the more I play with it, you know, the more I'll be sharing with you guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video.